ball base hit in the right field. Heading for third is Terrence Long. The throw by Ichiro. Beautiful. Peggy got him. Holy smoke. A laser beam strike from Ichiro to the third base. That's in the right field. That's a can of corn. Bo Jackson is there. As here's the throw. Gallego tagging it. Bo gets it. What a throw by Bo Jackson. Standing flat footed. <laughs> How about that smile? Yeah, he was. He was flat-footed on his heels, and look at this throw. All the way, good ca catch and tag right here by Robin on the short hop, and he got him. Oh my! Pettis popped a short left with a man on first, and watch Bo made the catch through a BB, and Evans was dead for the double. One and one. High fly ball to shallow, well, medium center, and he should come home and score. Wynn makes one throw, and Ferguson took it with the better arm. The throw! They got him! Oh, what a throw! I asked Jim Wynn if he had to make a hard throw, what would happen? Said my arm would draw up for the next three days. I can make one throw, and that's all. What a magnificent throw by Joe Ferguson. The top. Here's the pitch, there's a swing, and that is gapped into right center field. Over to cut it off is Guerrero. Here comes the throw in, and Castillo slides. He's out at the plate. A cannon, to tell you the truth. He ended up picking up that ball after a high hop. I was just getting ready to say that throw was a little bit too high. He threw the ball all the way on the fly. The pitch. Hit high and deep to right. Back goes Guillen, still going back. At the wall, it's off his glove. There goes Nafee around second, headed for third. Look at that throw from right. Wow! What a throw from Guillen from the warning track in the air to third base. The ball hits him on the shoulder, and he comes up firing. Nafee Perez all the way around second, out by about five or six. With one out pitch. Swung on a high fly, shallow to right. Golson toward the line. Greg is there. He makes the catch. Crawford tags and goes to third, and the throw is in time! In time! What a throw by Golson! Ball game over! Yankees win! The Yankees win! Crawford tried to tag, goes second to third. And Napkins blowing all around the ballpark as Avila rounds it into right field. And Peralta is going to challenge Frank Coor, who comes up firing and right on the money. Man, what a throw. Well, Jeff gets this ball quickly, and this catch and release and accuracy is right on the money. And you tell me right on the bottom of the foot right there at third base. Popped it up. Medium right field. Ichiro gets some good momentum. Ellsbury can run. Here's the throw. The play. side of the head it looked like as he's laying down Rob Nodine the trainer is out there Eric Wedge looking at Bart and trying to argue but I thought he still had the ball in his glove he covered it up with his bare hand and this ball to center field playable for Ankeel Tavares will tag and Rick's got a great eye oh. on the bubble of up. Rick Ankeel, who used to throw in the upper 90s as a pitcher, just threw a strike to third base from about 250 feet and threw out. Line shot to right. Tuyasa Sopo is being waved home by Brookins. Here's the throw to the plate. Castro with a tag. Oh, they got him. What a tremendous peg from Rick Ankeel in right. And Castro put the tag. Punch through the right side and up with the baseball's cargo. Here's the throw to third. Out at third. That's why Carlos Gonzalez is a factor in right field like few in the game. How about that throw? Well, Are you kidding me? For your first throw since 2011 when you made your last start. The right center, going to be trouble. Hicks won't be able to get it. It gets onto that warning track and takes a hard carom, and Wells wants another base. Hicks with a very long throw, and he got him. Also 
Anderson, we talked about the ball skidding. It gets by him again. He picks this ball up and just fires a bullet in the air all the way to third base on the fly and gets Wells from about the 385-foot <laughs> mark in the outfield. Runner goes, and that ball's hit in the air, left center field. Mariano on the run, and he makes the catch. They got a chance to double up Young, and the throw is in time, and he got wow. him. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. <laughs> that throw oh my God. to Canna, it wasn't from the cutoff, oh, man. That's unbelievable. It was from Laureano. <laughs> I mean, the catch alone was enough, but to finish it off with a double play, and oh, by the way, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> now the 2-2. A swing and a high fly to left. Down the line it goes. On the run is Avilas. Towards the seats. Made the catch just before he crossed into foul ground. Long throw to first on the fly. Got him for a double play. What an incredible play by Avilas. He made the catch medium deep left just before he crossed the foul line. On the fly in foul territory, threw a throw on the mark to first to double up Connor. Three, two coming. Breaking ball, fly ball, left field, deep enough. You would think Ozuna ahead of steam. Here comes the throw to the plate. Head into center, Kiermaier charges. They're going to try to score Riamuto, and he is out at the plate. Kevin Kiermaier strikes again with his 15th assist of the year, and he prevents the potential tying run from scoring. Riamuto out upon arrival at the plate, courtesy of Kevin Kiermaier. And it wasn't even close. Up, gun, on the money, apply the tag. Probably the last moment of the year on the mound for Jake Odorizzi is a pump of the fist. Runners lead first and second, two out top of the third pitch. Swung on and hit into right field. There is a base hit. Rounding third. Here comes Judge throw home. He is out and home. Oh, what an arm does that judge have. Judge is so much more complete than the slugger. Cole Calhoun, who has good speed, was racing home, and Judge threw him out on one hop. And Sanchez had the ball before Calhoun got to the plate. He has a... Fly ball, left field. Hicks makes a catch. Valencia tags, here's the throw! He's out! Oh, what a throw by Hicks! An inning-ending double play. Oh, uh, what an arm hits huh? A one-hopper and the tag of Valencia to end the inning. Lots of baseball news, and Billy Butler jumps on the first pitch. Bautista's going to throw him out at first. He got him. Just when you think you've seen it all out of this team, Jose Bautista is planning this all the way. And I'll guarantee you he's discussed this with Edwin, especially with a runner like Billy Butler. The pause, and it's swung on and hit the deep left in the corner, a long run, and Cespedes can't get it. So turning at second is Kendrick, and Cespedes bobbles the ball, and Kendrick is around third, the throw to the plate, the tag, out of the plate! And Cespedes trying to one-hop the ball, took his eye off the ball. He raced over toward the line, he picked it up quickly and made a almost impossible throw. Off balance in one motion, took it off the wall. Here's to Albert, and he lines it down the left field line. That is going to be trouble into the corner. Going to the wall, Pujols lumbering around first, and the ball rolls around the boards there. And so Pujols is going to third, and the throw, here's the tag, and he is out at third. On the ninth assist by Cespedes. I don't know what Pujols was thinking. A little bit like something you might have seen in the fourth game of the Stanley Cup tonight. The ball rolling into the corner and then like in hockey kind of rolling around the boards as Cespedes overran the ball. Then it rolled back more toward. 
On the ground, base hit to left. Marisnik charges. Ellsbury being waved home. The throw by Jake is in time. Astros win. High fly ball, deep right field. Puig back on it. At the wall. Leaps and can't get it. It's off that new screen. Story can fly. Puig can throw. My goodness. Yes, Puig from the Oh my, we are going to see this for a long, long time. He's just a few steps in from the warning track and throws him out at third base. Story did not expect that ending. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, you don't even need to analyze it. Just watch it. Right field, Springer's tagging, Reddick's got it, and Springer's going to try. Here comes the throw! He is out! Wow! <laughs> oh, what a thing of beauty. Reddick does it so well because you're going to see textbook here. You're going to see an outfielder set up perfectly as this ball is hit him. Watch him back up and then come charging in right there. Watch this. Perfect and in the air. So last year, and that ball is bolted to right, and that's over Bryce Harper's head. That'll hit off the wall. Might be a play at second. Strong throw coming in, and he got him. Harper had the ball in his hand that he had to giddy up, but a, a, a carom off the wall that was pretty firm allowed Bryce Harper to get Ryan Braun at second. Obviously a fantastic throw. We showed you a three-quarter throw last night that was very similar right on the money. This one meant a little bit more. Good tag by Ian Desmond just getting Ryan Braun into second. Milwaukee Brewers, first pitch swinging, this one out to center field. Chase it, Trout back, and that's over his head, off the base of the wall. Lynn's going to try to go to second. Here comes the throw from Trout, and they got him! Oh, wow, what a play by Mike Trout! And what a scoop at the base! And hits his ball well to dead center field with some carry. Very difficult play. Off the wall, just in front of the warning track, and then a perfect throw in. But what a scoop and tag! by Cliff Pennington. That is not an easy play by Pennington at second base, but a perfect throw for Trout. In the Count the pitch. Swing a high fly center field. Plenty deep enough to get another run home. Jackie coming in now to make the catch. He fires to the plate. A great throw. He's out. Unbelievable. He was so deep out there in left center field, and he threw a strike on the fly to the plate. What an amazing throw by Jackie Bradley Jr. Twins waiting to see if they review it or not. He went back at a good throwing position. He's got the strong arm, and he fired a strike on the fly to Leon. And the ruling is out. 25-year-old got a running start, fired a baseball from near home plate, and actually cleared the center field wall at Fenway Park. It was a breathtaking display of arm strength, which created plenty of...